Breaking news. Hey, hey. I told you, Tinubu has met a lot of stiff opposition. Yes, former head of state, uh, Abdul, Sal Ab Abdul Salim, has sent Nigerians a serious message regarding uh, 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 regarding uh, uh, Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu. He said, listen, Nigerians, you don't need, okay, president, leaders, with walking stick. I mean, that's a serious one. That's a former head of state from the north. And don't forget that Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu just came back from the UK where he's going to make consultations with regards to, according to him, regards to the presidency. Some said he went to quickly see his doctor. And um, there are issues around that area. Right now, what we are hearing is Abdul Salim is telling Nigerians, we don't need you know, a uh, president, you know, who is using walking stick. And Nigerians should be wise. Once beaten, the world says twice shy. There's no need to go back to the same terrain, the same thing over and over again and expecting a different, it's not going to work. You're not going to get a different result. The same reagent, the same, the same concussion put together over and over again. How are you going to get something different? It's going to be the same. Every single time is going to be the same again and again. So why do you think something is going to jump out of the ordinary to make something different? No way. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, Nigerians does, don't need leaders walking with walking stick. Abdul Zalim tells, uh, tells Tinubu. Nigerians' ex-military head of state, General Abdul Salim Abubakar, has stated that the nation don't need leaders with walking stick. Hence, younger generation should be allowed space and opportunity to govern this country. For too long, we've had a repeated cycle. It is about time we get out of this same routine and get into a new opportunity to gain Nigeria back and put her back in the right place. He spoke over the weekend at the top, at his hilltop country home, Mina, when a presidential hopeful prince, Adewale Adebayo, paid a consultation visit to him ahead of the 2023 general election. The ex-leader reasoned that governance has gone digital now compared to their time, noting that the younger ones who understand the times will do better and the society will be better. The elderly ones should, whose mindset has been the way it is, cannot easily be or traded or changed. That is why Nigeria has not moved and we are still in the same position. If we want things to change, then we must bring in the younger generation with today's digital mind. Buhari may have done whatever he wants to do, but is not in this current age and day. And so, Nigeria must never make Buhari's mistake again. You can't take a man with walking stick, a grandfather, to be the president. You will be living in the grandfather's days. That is the kind of mindset he has. According to him, if it was a good development that young stars are already interested in presidency, given the high level of those declaring their ambition, adding that they would surely overtake the younger ones immediately. And so Nigerians must be prepared to vote the right candidates. Commending the presidential hopeful for telling him of his ambition, Abri Salim said Nigeria, with a population of over 200 million, needed serious-minded individuals as leaders to make it great. Like you rightly said, the world is going digital, and I believe the younger generation will be more exposed internationally in ICT more than the older generation. I'm happy that you are thinking of moving the country forward. I'm truly happy. And I believe with your ideology and youthfulness and vibrance, I think Nigeria is on the right path, and so we must take the right step. Thank you for finding it fit to come and visit me. He told the presidential hopeful, they were like, and said it is right that Nigerians stand behind him and support him. Prince Adebayo recall how the ex-general midwife democracy in 1999 and said it is time to take back the country. So this is what is happening. Abu Salim, at the same time, he has shaved, uh, you know, he has put, he has put Tinubu to where he belongs. 
He has told Buhari that you were a mistake. I mean, he has said a lot within a very short space of time. Within a very short space of time. Okay? Within a very short space of time. He said Buhari is not a deal. It's not what Nigeria needs. And Nigerians must take the bull by the horn. You know? And he went on to explain that what is happening currently right now is that the same people want to keep recycling themselves and in fact i i get him totally completely i get i get his idea i get what he's passing across i totally get it okay in the days of my grandfather in fact when did we have gsm was it not early 2000 late 90s early 2000 you know today babies are swiping okay you give them your ipad they just keep swiping yeah so things are moving really fast unlike you know, in their days, when you have that telephone, you know that you put, you turn it one way, go around again, 360, the other number three. I mean, it's not the same thing, but they, they fail to understand that, you know, it's the, the, the country needs to move. But they don't want the country to move. They want to remain there, you know, detecting and deciding what happened. We cannot move forward that way. We can never move forward that way. If we want to move forward, there is time, then it is time for us all to stand up together as one and refuse, you know, the oppression currently going on. You know, uh, Abdul Salim Abubakar, you know, has said it already. We don't need those with working stick. We need honest, dedicated, sincere people who can take this nation forward. We need, you know, he said, he said Buhari was a mistake and we shouldn't repeat the days of Buhari. It's another time to make that decision. You can see Buhari cannot even speak, address issues. There are real issues. Your people are, you, you, they just need your voice. But rather when he speaks, he's more, in fact, he divides the nation more. Even his own home. His wife has left him a long time. Okay. I mean, she's already, I mean, I mean, left the country. I mean to say, she's not even living in the country. The wife is somewhere else. A first lady. When have you heard that? A whole first lady. Like, when, when did you hear that? A first lady leaving when the administration is still on, you know, after what happened in Aso Rock the other time, you know, where gunshot was heard. So these are things happening and um, it's time to move forward. In fact, it thoroughly exposes it that we cannot, be, we, we cannot keep having Buhari again and all that and all that. But, I mean, moving forward, we, it's time to make the decision. It is that time again for election. And if it holds, then there must be change. We cannot continue with the same thing. Things just have to change. You know, you will be surprised some of the, you know, some of the things that are going on in different quarters and how things are happening. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.